What are you going to do with this thing? Well, look at the question, step back from it for a moment, because like I said, the vast majority, you didn't even go within arm's reach of a graph. How could I come up with a graph that would help me with a question like this? What graph would it be? Say it again. Anyone? What graph is going to help me evaluate this integral? What are integrals about again? What, what were they designed to solve? The problem is area, right? So I want to get a picture for the area of this thing with the x-axis between here and here. Well, I need a picture, right? So let's just quickly put this together. I'm only drawing this right-hand side because I know I'm going to go between 1 and 2. Okay. Uh, what's this look like? Well, like usual, I'll think about it without the absolute values and then I'll add the absolute value in kind of like a, a filter, right? So x minus 3 is going to look down here. If 3 were down here, I, don't, I haven't drawn the rest of the axis because I know I'm not going to need it. To take the absolute value of that, this part's not going to change. So there's that part of the graph. And what happens to the rest of it? It flips up, right? It reflects. So I've got this kind of shape, OK? Um, what's this um, intercept here? This is kind of important to me. What it's, what's its value? It's going to be 3, right? Because y well, equals x minus 3 been shifted down that way, across that way. There's the value. Where are my boundaries? Oh, no boundaries. Well, if that's 3, 1 and 2 look like they'd be there and there. OK? So this is the shape that I'm after. And when you look at that, you're like, oh, I don't even need calculus. What is that shape? That's a trapezium, right? At least it was the last I checked. So it's a trapezium. Uh, it has a, now this is a bit tricky, right? But you have learned trapezoidal rules, so at least you should have that. It's not like you only looked at this like four years ago. It has a height, a height of one unit from one to two. What are the lengths of the, what are the sides that I'm interested in? Which ones are they? Because I'm not interested in all the sides. I'm going to be interested in these two, right? These are the parallel sides. Um, as Aaron said, that one is one unit high, and this one is two units high. There you go. So therefore, this integral is this area. So it's the area of that trapezium. They're the same shape. So I'm pretty sure the formula for the area of a trapezium is h on 2, a plus b, where a and b are your parallel sides. Okay, so what am I going to get? Put in my values. H in this case is 1. A plus B. There's my 3. And then I go home and don't cry. Okay, graph. Graph, 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 graph. Even if this wasn't going to be a trapezium, as you're going to see for this next question, the graph will be instructive to help you form your area anyway.